rather than buying a, um, uh, a toilet for the, uh, for the pod, I'm, uh, I've decided to make one myself. So I'm using the basic the separator type toilet where the solids are separated from the, um, the liquids, which is supposed to then the solids comp compost and uh, with very little smell. There's quite a few toilets uh, like this on the market and um, all reports are they work very well, but they're fairly simple. It's just a bucket basically with a, a fan to draw the air out away from the living areas and, uh, and um, you empty it out when it's, uh, when it's full. Um, and rather than buying much, which, which is you know a thousand plus dollars, um, I've decided to make one. They're very simple. This is the pug, so this is the, I guess, the throwaway side of the mould. So I, I finish this this off and get it ready to cast with. I stick it onto a um, onto a bed and then cast the fiberglass over the top of that. And the fiberglass is what I keep, and this is what I throw away. So there's about 20 minutes work on that to to shape it into the right shape. I've still got a little bit of sanding and I'm fiberglassing the seat up. It's all going well. Um, that's the fourth layer I'm just wetting out now. I haven't done the uh, front piece. Uh, I'll lay it over when it's still green and, and do that. Uh, and hopefully this will work. So here goes trying to um, uh, take it off the mould. Looks pretty good already. I seem to have released it now, not exactly the way I wanted it I think. Um, yeah, so I've come out without the pug. I've got the, 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 the foam broken away, so but that's alright. I've uh, made all the um, the bathroom, which this is the bathroom here, the front door there, fan up there, um, and the hand basin, and then the composting toilet, and I'll put a, a, a door through into there. Um, uh, and it's all bonded together with fiberglass, so the whole thing's one piece of fiberglass, and uh, uh, no issues from water getting anything in that. There's nothing in here. There's no plow. There's no timber. Uh, so it's all um, uh, quite waterproof and should last for forever and ever. Um, so that's why I've done it. Done it this way. There's a lot of work in it though. That's a trouble. You know, it's it's just not like buying products from off a shelf and coming in and installing them. Um, and you sort of make from scratch. It's a um, it's an unbelievable amount of time. Uh, it goes into it. Um. Good morning, for the morning call for all remaining passengers on JQ84 to Adelaide. The feedback holders until after takeoff. As always, smoking and the use.
got two on the top of it. This one looks in excellent condition. So I'm, uh, I just got back with the truck from um, Alice Springs, that's Sunday today and I'm um, working on other things today. So I'm not working on the truck, I'll leave the truck, I'll sit the truck still for a while. I'm just getting finishing off the job up in the seating area up at the end. So these will be the, the doors um, for the... for the overhead lockers. It's going to have quite wide doors. I was inspired by the um, overhead lockers on the aeroplane. Obviously somebody's thought about those. So, um, so it's going to put quite wide doors on it. What I'm doing now, I've got this stuff. Professional preparation sanding sealer. Duolux. It's hard to come by now. It used to be quite a few different brands. What it is, it seals the timber, but then it allows you to sand it back very quickly and give a really super, um, super smooth finish to it. Um, I just got here to give it a bit of a sand. I've sanded it with about um, 120, I think. So, so that's all good. So I'm going to finish off working on um, that front area tomorrow. When everything's open. I'm going to buy the steel I need for the tray. Um, and some aluminium as well. So then I'll get um when I finish this I'll get stuck into that and, and make the preparations for the mounting of the the pod on the truck. So I've got a list of things. I've got lists. I've written some stuff down. And I've got lists of what I need to do. Priority one A and priority B. Uh, priority B is to get a bit of extra work, and um, and then I'll get the pod back up onto the truck so I've got a few things to do the skylight the seals around the back the perspex in the window um, a few other little bits and bolts paint the outside of it and then I can get it put up onto the uh, onto the back of the truck and out of here um, so that'll be good then uh, another, quite a big job it's sort of a milestone too isn't it when you because of the um, you can't really see what I'm doing there Nobody really knows what I'm doing with the truck turned up yesterday, this big four-wheel drive truck. Um, 
I had a few visitors, so oh, shit, what do you got there? I didn't know what you were doing that. So, um, so I get a bit more interest in what I'm doing now, I reckon. People like a good vehicle, don't they? So it's all happening here. I've got the whole lot of serious bits of uh, steels turned up. This is for the uh, sort of undercarriage, I suppose you call it, underneath the pod. So they'll. Uh, So these will, uh, what the pod will connect onto, and what will separate it from the from the chassis frames. Um, bit of fabricating there to happen. And uh, while we're uh, there's a chest of drawers going in there, and up in here we've got a uh, lots of stuff happening. We've got a fridge, cooktop, um, oven, cabinet there. Kitchen's going to go in there, and uh, all around here is the settee area with the um, uh, overhead cupboards up there, which I'm still all sort of working on that. That's the uh, the cupboard there. That little gap there, coming along to there, that will be the uh, work area, the kitchen work area. It's not enormous, but you know, <laughs> it's not the tar to see there.